Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Mike with Fowler Family Farm. We're gonna be working in right here inside the barn today uh, for some of it. In my previous video, it started off as a really good day, ended as a terrible day. And one thing I mentioned in that video was I went ahead and moved the pony over to the cow pasture where the cow's at. It's kind of funny, the cow's been chasing the pony all day today. I, I guess he doesn't want to be friends yet, so <laughs> we'll see. Um, I don't know if y'all remember the big storm that hit Texas and Oklahoma, a uh, winter storm where we had like negative 15 degrees. Um, I think here it actually got down to like negative 12 was the coldest or negative 14 was the coldest it got, but it stayed below zero for like 33 hours, I think. And that never, ever happens in Oklahoma. That's like record setting stuff for us. Well. Here in about three or four days, we're gonna get some very similar temps where it's gonna get down into the single digits. I don't think it's gonna drop below zero, but for about two to three days, it's not gonna get above freezing either. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some, some precautions and move the goats that I believe will kid. I'm gonna go ahead and move them in, the, in this barn. I did that last year with that big t storm that came down and hit Oklahoma and Texas, um, and it worked out really well. Um, so I'm gonna do it again, but this area is not real, real big. So I, I can't move 10 mamas over here. Well, I wouldn't have to move Oreo anyway, um, but I'm not gonna move York or Snickerdoodle or, or probably Beauty. So I'll leave those four goats, Oreo, Snickerdoodle, Beauty, and York. I'll leave those four over there and I'll move the other six over here. Um, and I'll keep an eye on them. Actually, I'll probably leave Samoa over there as well with with oreo and them because i don't think she's within five or six days and really if they kid while this storm is here and they kid in the barn that's that's fine that'll be perfectly okay i'll have some heat lamps on them um, but those other goats will be fine over in that cold weather um, that they, they can survive in this five degree weather um, it's not ideal uh, but they're equipped for it and they will stay in that lean to a lot of the time so that's what we're going to do. I want to go ahead and show you real quick. I may not get a whole lot of this on video because it's so dark in there. Um, my lights don't work real well. They're, they flicker on and off. <coughs> so I did open both doors so you'll be able to see in here better. So I'm going to take this out. Actually, I probably will strip that down so I can put it along the bottom of this fence. I want to move all this out. Uh, this is my chicken area. Um, that's my chicken brooder. That was a chicken brooder. And of course the tractor supply chicken brooder. I really love that thing. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and clear all this out and get it ready for the goats. Okay. So the intro y'all just watched, I got busy that evening. Didn't get a chance to, uh, clear, clear out the barn. Look at this bottle cap has babies. Let me take you in close. Hi bottle cap. Good job. These are very, very fresh, like within the last hour, probably. Okay, I have one more goat right over here that gave birth to, it looks like one baby. Uh, I don't see any evidence that she's had two. She's only got one spot right here on the ground, so. And this, it's gonna throw you for a loop. It's beauty. One that I thought was probably a month away. Hi, beauty. Are you having one more, maybe? Good job, beauty. Good job. It looks like beauty um, had her baby last. I think Bottle Cat might have had her baby first, and then Beauty. Uh, so there's a chance she may have one more. She gave me twins last year, so I don't know why she wouldn't this year, but it does happen. Um, two years ago, Crybaby gave me twins, but last year she gave me one big buck. So she may have another one in there. Uh, I just need to keep an eye on her because this baby's really small. Yeah, it's still wet, too. Pretty wet. Yeah, I thought you were gonna be next. What happened? 
Not you, huh? Oh, you're gonna let me pet you because you want some comforting, don't you? Yes. You never let me pet you. What's going on? Yeah. So we may have more than these two today. We may have Crybaby. May be doing a baby today as well. Okay, so it's right at 32 degrees this morning. So I'm gonna start working on this barn, getting it cleared out so I can move these two mamas at least over there. Well, one of the heat bulbs was out in one of the lamps, so I've got one working right now. I need to put this one in, see if it's working, but I don't know where my double pronged connector is. It was in here. Uh, I'll have to find another one because I couldn't find it so I could plug both these lamps in. But here's one of them. It's already on. Chickens will probably enjoy this extra heat as well. You ready to go back in, buddy? Are you bored out here? All right, well, the light bulb wasn't a fix, so I guess that lamp's bad. So I think I have an extra one in the tack room. If not, I'll run by and pick one up at Tractor Supply today. One light should be plenty for now anyway, but I do want two lights in here. I'll probably need to spread them apart a little bit more. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and move this uh, last thing out and we'll be able to move the goats over here. Okay, so this is all cleared out. I need to pick up a few things. That's a comes off of a bag of feed. A lot of this is feathers, just from our chickens being loose. So it is ready to go. <clears throat> this is cattle panels. And then another type of cattle panel. And then chicken wire down on the two feet on the bottom. So there should be pretty well protected in here. There won't be a dog in here, but they should be all right. And they'll have the chickens to keep them company. So you'll see how Crybaby's staying off to, her, to herself. She's usually the first one up here, when like right here in the center. Hey, Oreo, be nice. So Beauty was gonna come over here and see us, then her baby started crying, she went back. Yeah, I was talking about you, girl. Okay, I'm gonna go wake up my son, get him out here to help me because it's kind of hard to move a baby and a mama. Sometimes the mama gets mad and doesn't know what you're trying to do. So we just gotta make sure we move them both at this, kind of at the same time. All right, so I called Brennan. He's on his way over here to help me bring the goats into the barn. Um, we're gonna start with Beauty and her baby first because she looks the weakest, or he. I still don't even know. I keep saying she and he and mixing them up. I don't even know what they are yet. We're gonna, when we move them over, we're gonna find out. Um, so while he's on his way over here, I'm gonna go ahead and make my coffee. I hadn't, didn't get a chance to, to have any coffee this morning. Uh, Brennan's wife, Rosa, left for work this morning. Um, as she was driving down the driveway, she saw that Beauty and her baby were where y'all just saw them. And she called me and said, hey, there's a goat, a baby goat out there. So you might wanna go check on them. Um, sure enough, we had more than just one, so pretty cool. Well, I was in the house waiting for Brennan to come over and he was already out here doing it. <laughs> so he's already moved uh, Beauty's baby over. And you can see how she doesn't want to go, even with food. Come on, girl. She thinks she, her baby's still over there, even though we tried to get her to follow with the baby. She doesn't understand it. <laughs> So her baby does look a little small. Huh? I said her baby looks a little small. No, he won't get up. Yeah, he may have some issues. Has he been drinking, Mama? Need some colostrum, girl. The food trough? Yeah. Little girl. Yeah, she's struggling. She's uh, a little sick, I think. There's plenty of heat right here, so this will help her. Maybe mama will get over there and 
make sure she's feeding. All right. You getting a smell, Millie? You getting familiar? Good girl. Silas is out here somewhere. No, I put him back. Oh, did you? Okay. Her and Millie been running around out there the whole time. Go ahead. Yeah. You should have called me. I was over there waiting on you. I thought you were in the lean to. Oh, uh-uh. I was like, I don't know where he's at. All right, we're going to go get bottle cap and her two babies. Yeah. This will be difficult again. Grab that bucket and we'll grab some more feed. Yeah, that baby doesn't look real good. Just keep an eye on her for sure. Okay. Of course, this happens when you have a bucket. We probably should have just went ahead and fed them this morning instead of later this I'll just feed them this. All right, just feed them that. And... See, Bottle Cup wants to come to the bucket. We got feed just for you in the barn, girl. It's all yours. You don't even have to share. That one's trying to eat. Look at her. <laughs> Can you grab them both? Yeah. Come on, Come bottle cap. So that one Brennan's holding is quite a bit bigger than the other one. Come, Come on, on, girl. Good girl. Come on. No, you go. 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 Good girl, bottle cap. Go. Hold on, bud. Go. There you go. Come on. Go. All right. nope, 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 nope. Hold on. Stay there. All right. I've got her. Brennan's got the babies. Okay. So we gave him a little bit more feed. That'll keep them in here happy. Hopefully this will be a pretty safe place. We're going to close the barn doors. But y'all watched me clear all this out. Well, you didn't really get to watch a whole lot of that. I didn't put it in the video. But uh, we got the whole thing set up. But what did I forget? I forgot one critical thing. Water. I forgot to get their water in here. So I'm going to have to find me a bucket uh, so I can make sure they have water. He's trying to stand. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna go give them some, uh, these newborns, some uh, selenium and probiotic and maybe some vitamin B. I'll just have to look. Um, I keep shedding my clothes, my jacket, my beanie, because it's not quite as cold out here as I was thinking it was. I think it's like 34 degrees right now, so it feels really good. Brendan and Braxton are leaving. I don't, I don't understand this generation of kids. Starting to sprinkle a little bit. Like I said, I don't understand this generation of kids. They have to go get an energy drink. I don't get it. I don't. What, what's wrong with coffee? Just drink coffee. Oh, this one's standing up now. That's good. That's really good to see. Kind of looks just like bottle cups, baby. <laughs> or babies. <laughs> Come here, girl. Okay, I gave all three of the babies some selenium and vitamin B. 
Um, Beauty's baby's not doing real well. It's standing, but it can't stand for very long. Um, he is actually under right now, so this is good. Bottle caps babies are doing really well. They're both eating. They're still soaking wet. <laughs> This one's trying though. It's kind of weird, but Beauty's still acting like she may have another baby. Like she still has this, like these little pains or something going on. So I don't think she's got another baby. Uh, if she did, I think she would have already had it because it's been probably an hour and a half and that's way too long. So I want to keep an eye on beauty though because if something is wrong, I need to need to keep, keep track of her. I'm also going to keep an eye on this little baby of hers because uh, not doing real well right now. Real, real weak. But it, he is up and, and moving around now. There for a while, he would not get, even get up, so... One thing I do like about the Kiko babies is they typically thrive right from the start. Like you can see bottle caps babies are already, they're less than two hours old and they're nursing, moving around, doing good. And this one is now, he is moving around, um, but he should be, maybe he's just younger than I think. <laughs> maybe. Right when Rosa saw this baby is right when it was born, maybe. So that would mean this baby's right at an hour old. So maybe that's why. Because he is following his mama now, so it might be all right. Okay, so I'm going to keep an eye on those two mamas and their babies for the next, well, probably all day today, for sure. Especially Beauty's baby, which he does look like he's doing a little better than I thought. Um, uh, I just want to make sure I'm right on top of things. I want to close these doors. Probably won't keep much of the cold out, but every little bit helps. I want to go check on Crybaby again and the rest of the goats and see what's going on. I think you're trapped, aren't you? I shut you in a while ago trying to get bottle cap out. All right, I'll let you out. I'll let you back in there with your friends. So Crybaby's right here. I'm thinking uh, she's going to have babies today. I need to move her in the barn. Probably about an hour from now, I'm going to move her in the barn. Uh, I want to give these mamas and their babies a little chance to kind of be with each other without other goats that don't have babies yet because I probably need to put Crybaby in there and maybe Cinnamon the way it's looking. Uh, those are the ones that look the closest, which Beauty didn't look close to me at all, but that's probably because she had a single, so she didn't look as big as the rest of the goats. Nuka's looking pretty pregnant right now too, so just have to keep an eye on all of them. I'll move them all in tonight, but I wanna give these mamas enough time to adjust with their babies. Okay, I'll let you back in there, okay? You lonely? Man, that'd be a good day to burn. Just real little wind. Probably less than five miles an hour wind. Real calm out here today. Good day to video. I wish it was sunny. Get some better lighting. Uh, it's very rare that you don't have wind in Oklahoma. Y'all can probably actually hear me. You're probably not hearing a lot of wind noise. And I'm videoing with my iPhone, so usually that picks up more wind noise than my other camera. Okay, guys, I want to keep an eye on these mamas. Um, if Crybaby has a, 
a baby today and, and when I move these other goats into the barn, I'll probably make a separate video of that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, uh, leave me a comment. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We'll see y'all in the next video. Remember, do the good. Well guys, it's about nine o'clock when Crybaby just had two babies. Life journey we go through at the fair.